In today's video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to go ahead and get gems in Toilet Tower Defense. But before we go ahead and do that, would you like a chance to go ahead and win yourself a free exclusive scientist crate and the chance to get yourself your own free engineer cameraman? All you need to do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, then comment your Roblox username down below. I pick one lucky winner from each video. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we haven't actually uploaded a video in a while, which is 100% my bad. I'm sorry though, I've been busy working on some other stuff. I've been doing like tons of schoolwork. But anyway guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get like a bunch of gems to go ahead and get yourself uh, some crates, or just to go ahead and use them for trading. I'm going to show you the three main methods you can go ahead and do this, as there is quite a few. Of course, the main one you can go ahead and do, which is the first one, you'll probably know it, it's actually going ahead and buying them. Would I recommend doing this? No. Unless you have them, there's no need to go ahead and waste all your Robux on getting these gems. I mean, if you do have a lot, a lot, and I mean like a lot of Robux spare, I would actually probably say go ahead and do it. But if you're actually up for a grind and you want to go ahead and do it free to play, there are so many different ways to go ahead and do so. And you can actually go ahead and make a lot and possibly even get yourself your own spider TV, which is worth multiple engineers. I think I've seen the highest offer for it was nine sign engineers, which is worth a lot for it. I mean, that's worth like 20 plus something mythics. Um, the next way to go ahead and get it is going ahead and doing quests. Now, these quests are actually quite easy to do. Um, it'll take you probably about an hour, you do it in less than an hour actually, to go ahead and get all your daily quests done. And the other quests you probably just do passively as long as you make sure you're doing daily quests. You get about 15 to 20 day I believe from daily quests and you get 80 uh, from the weekly quests which is pretty good actually and this will be able to get you some pretty cool stuff. So the units you actually need to go ahead and do this of course um, having titans and all that is helpful but the main one you need is a ninja cameraman that is key to this strategy. And then you can go ahead and just use a titan. Uh, I'll actually show you guys without using a titan but you could go and use a mythic titan like that. Um, of course you, you could have engineer but you don't really need any of this. The main thing you need is the ninja caraman and then you want to go ahead and make sure you're using the jetpack caraman as well. It's a really good one. If you don't have that I would recommend placing it at the titan of some sort. It will just be the process of turn. Of course you can do it without that. This is going to be to minimize it and get it done in the shortest time possible. Uh, make sure you put a side one, why not? It doesn't actually add anything to it, might as well go and use it. And then you want to go and head over to Toilet City. And if you're wondering why Toilet City, it's against the smallest map in the game. So it's going to be able to help you speed up the process of doing your quests by a big, and I do mean quite a big amount. Because basically what you're going to need to make sure you're doing is you're going to need to spawn clean things as fast as possible. You're going to be getting the eliminations as easily and as quickly as possible. It's asking me all your quests. Of course, I believe this quests are on rotation, so you always the same ones. Um, but I'd recommend going ahead and doing the easy mode as well because it's playing games, trying to do it a short amount of time. Of course, if you play the game loads, doing these quests, you'll probably end up just passively doing doing the hardest stage you can go ahead and do. Um, I can make a video on that if you guys want to show you how to like certain maps like Nightmare or Hard or whatever difficulty you want me to go ahead and do. But um, for this one, just keep it simple as well. We're going to do it on easy because it's really easy, really easy to go and do with these units. Of course, you can have a scientist cameraman, but um, you want to place down your ninja just at the start. That's actually a really bad placement. Uh, we are placing down some scientist cameramen. They are not needed for this strategy. Um, they make it like slightly easier, but it's actually a really easy strategy to go ahead and do. Most of you probably know it. Should place down a ninja. You want to make sure you get a good ninja place down spot though, because where I put it is a terrible spot. Uh, we don't have two at the start. It's going to make sure the strategy is going to work. We have messed it up here, but we're just going to pretend we didn't. Uh, it'll still work. May just take us an extra like couple of seconds longer, so it shouldn't have a massive effect. But just having a ninja there at the start is pretty much just going to spawn kill everything that goes ahead and spawns in. You should be able to get a ton of kills on your kill quest. And it's going to mean it's going to be the fastest win you can possibly get. So you won't be able to do all these quests in less than an hour, which doing this strategy will. Um, again, I am placing sound scientist cameraman here. They're not needed. They do get extra money though, so they do make it easier. But it's actually a really, it's a really easy thing to go ahead and do. Um, if you're wondering why they're getting past its course, put the other guy uh, further at the back. But you can place down one of them and just upgrade it, or you can place down two of them. I'd probably recommend doing two and then just purely upgrade the one of them. But you don't need to go ahead and do it that way. Uh, and then after you've got one of them down, maybe upgrade it a few times um, just enough so it's one-shotting everything that's going through it. I think as soon as I actually upgrade this it's not going to be one-shotting anything anymore because I have like a lot of health but the other one will go ahead and finish it off. It'll be the same if they're right next to each other. Um, so as you can see I did the upgrade but they are actually sneaking past uh, so we need to upgrade the other one as well but usually you can just upgrade the one there and go ahead and do the trick. Then after you've went ahead and done an upgrade on this don't let anything sneak past. It's may take away 
take way longer. Also make sure you've got auto skip going on the whole time. If you don't have auto skip, it's going to take even longer. You want to get it done as fast and as quickly as possible because we're showing the fastest way to get it, not the longest way to go ahead and get it. So um, after you've gone ahead and done that, you've basically killed everything that spawns in. If you do have scientist camera, feel free to use that chance to grade them. Um, you have a Titan, you place your Titan down now. But if you don't have any of them, a jetpack, and jetpack is a really good one to go ahead and use. You can go ahead and get your jetpack placed down somewhere where it's going to cover everything that spawns in. Of course, you're probably going to level it up. It's really cheap. It's only 300 to go place down jetpack, get it leveled up, and then you want to make sure you're prioritizing your strongest units. As soon as the units come in, they're instantly going to go ahead and get taken out. But then if it does sneak past, the jetpack can actually go ahead and finish them off. As you can see, only on like the level 3, it's 1,000 damage, which is so much damage to go ahead and do just off level 3. Um, now level 4, it's doing 4,000 damage, which means pretty much anything that wants to spawn in right now has to have over 4,000 health, which is a lot of health, which I don't believe any units have at this stage. Uh, I think some of the very end may have that much, but you can go ahead and just keep on upgrading it. If you do a farms, do a few upgrades on them. You don't even need to get them past level 2, so I probably wouldn't even recommend having farms, really. I mean, they are helping slightly. Uh, you may want to upgrade your ninja as well to make sure ninja's max, so your ninja's taking out anything. Uh, that smaller comes in, and the jetpack can take out the higher level stuff that goes ahead and it comes in. We'll actually go ahead and skip, so you have to watch all of this to one of the later waves. Um, of course, we're on wave 10 at the moment, but there's no, no difference to strategy. Keep on placing it down, and then focus on maxing out your jetpack. Once you've done that, you can actually get another jetpack placed down, and just keep on rinsing and repeat. Also, remember, you would have a ninja at the start. Um, but anyway, we've got two of our jetpacks down right now, and as you can see, nothing has got past. Again, it is the easiest stage to do on, but this way just guarantees nothing will go ahead and make it through. As they're going to get one shot, literally as fast as they spawn in. Now we have two jetpacks, that means every second they're doing 20,000 health, so I don't even think the large toilets will survive this. It would just be the bosses. Of course, you are playing with friends. This strategy does work as well. If you go to go and get some coins, just make sure you are all doing the strategy uh, the exact same as if some of you are doing this, uh, it can mess it up a little bit. This strategy is pretty straightforward. It's doing the trick, taking out everything as soon as it spawns in. Get another jetpack down if you need to. Of course, during the farms, I don't think you can actually have money to get another one down, but it's not at all needed because the bosses are going to get one shot so fast as soon as they start spawning again. Of course, this wave is coming to an end pretty soon, um, and this will go ahead and be able to do a big, big chunk of your quest uh, going ahead and doing this. And as you can see, they're spawning again. They need so much health to survive, though. That boss is down there, and you get yourself 100 coins there, so two times coin pass. Definitely recommend getting that. That's, of course, in my different video, which I'll link at the top there. If you're trying to get coins, we're trying to show you to go ahead and get gems as fast as possible in the video. So that took us about seven minutes. We could have probably done it in about six minutes and 30 seconds. We didn't do our mess up there, and it's already went ahead and done. Um, the vibe sent at the top quest, um, and then a big chunk of the other guns as well. Of course, you do that three more times. We've been going ahead and spending like I don't know less than 20 minutes, and you've done most of your quests other than playing matches, which that one's just pretty easy to do. And you go ahead and try and do that to do some other stuff, such as placing units, just go in one, place a bunch, and sell. Anyway, the next way to go ahead and get gems, which is a way that people do know about, but I really don't think people take advantage of it enough. This is actually going ahead and trading. Go to the trading plaza. It's such an easy way to go and trade. People will trade gems if you ask. Of course, you're limited to how many you can do a day. Um, one strategy I suppose has been alt account, but I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. So going ahead and trading with people, that's a really, really good way to go ahead and get yourself a bunch of stuff pretty easy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually send someone a trade. Um, of course, we've got the value of this website, which is a bay mode, something for like a split second to make sure we are getting a good trade. And basically, if you're trying to look at what a good trade is, a legendary for anything over 100 gems is a pretty good offer to go ahead and make. So if you're trying to get trades, but your trades aren't, hopefully someone will send you a trade request. It's always work. Also, I have no clue why I turned into a, like, an NPC. I don't know at all what started that either. Uh, I was definitely a normal thing earlier. But anyway, you just want to spam people with trades. Um, to make sure you just send one trade to each person. Someone will accept. Then you want to go and ask if you can go ahead and offer for gems um, and hope they don't try and do anything suspicious. But yeah, ask them if you can offer gems. I'm not sure we got all that in the thing. I think they're just trying to like, trade with us or something or do some sort of scam. So we're just going to ignore them completely there. And we're just going to try and offer for gems, um, which, which should be pretty easy to go ahead and do. I'm not sure exactly how many gems they have. It's always easy to check how many gems they have. That's a good way to go and work out. As it does rank people by gems in the server, they got 80 gems. So we can go ahead and trade that for the legendary. 80 is still good, I believe, for most legendaries. Of course, 100 is really good. Um, we'll go ahead and try and see if they'll do that trade that hopefully they will because this will be a good trade for us to go and make get us a good amount of gems 
And I know legendaries do take a decent amount of time to get, but if you're doing all the other quests or doing the quest during at coins and you're supposed to get legendaries off that, they're actually offering us another Dark Speak Man. Um, and I'm trying to work out why, but I think it's going to be because my unit, my unit's signed. So they're offering a Dark Speak Man of 23 gems basically for the sign. Of course, you have a signed unit. It's probably massive underpay that actually. Don't do not do this through a signed unit. It's fine if I'm doing it, of course, signed sign units. But anyway, that's just an easy way to go ahead and get gems. And trade is just thing people forget. So do not forget you can get so many gems off trading, where it's training with friends or whoever. Um, anyway, guys, um, thank you a ton for going ahead and watching today's uh, video. We're going to play in, uh, that trade there. But guys, thank you a ton for watching. Hopefully, this video has uh, been helpful. Uh, I'll promise I'll make more videos. Maybe. Anyway, guys, uh, see you next one. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.